In today's news, we'll be celebrating birthdays. In this episode, we will cover everything from cakes to gifts. And as always, we'll keep you updated on upcoming campus events. This is Kanisha's Connections. everyone and thank you for tuning in to Canisius Connections, your number one source for news, campus events, and sports happening here at Canisius. I'm Bridget Fallon. And I'm Brendan Rudd. To kick things off for our very special birthday episode, we will be taking a look into Kessler's Kitchen to see what Mary Kessler has in store for our in-studio celebration.
Thanks, Mary. And you know, Bridget, I have to say, I cannot wait to taste that later in the episode. Me too, Brandon. Mary's recipes are the best. We are going to take a quick break, but afterwards, Sarah Brault is going to show us some do-it-yourself birthday gifts. Nice. Stay tuned. There was one day that we had just done the uh, cardiovascular unit, um, you know, in class that day. And then right after class, I went over to uh, the, the Vascular Institute, volunteered, you know, put the scrubs on. And uh, one of the doctors asked me if I wanted to see an open heart surgery. And so I said, oh, yeah, really? sure. I came into Canisius as a, you know, obviously as a freshman. Not really sure what I wanted to do. I ended up taking a digital media arts class, and that really just kind of jump-started, you know, my career. And I think being where we are in, in the city and and, uh, and in the world with with the uh, medical campus that we have here it is really an opportunity that I wouldn't have anywhere else. It's more than just academics. Meet different people. Go out and do things. There's so much more to college. It's an experience. I. Instantly fell in love with doing video work, graphic design. I started pursuing more and more opportunities in the school, uh, whether it was doing admissions videos on the sides. I did a couple videos for alumni relations, the president of the college, and then I actually got noticed last year, and they sent me over to the Philippines to create a feature-length documentary. I lived with a host family while I took classes in Spanish with Spanish professors at the University of Oviedo and I was a Spaniard for a semester, and it was the best decision I made as a college student. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the do-it-yourself gift options. First off, today we have the, you see this on Pinterest everywhere. It's a crayon art kind of thing. And it's a nice, fun gift. They, like, they can put it up in their dorm or something. But normally you see it on high-tech canvases and people say you put it in the oven, but I found of a way to do it easier. So what you do is you take any kind of poster board. You can get them at the dollar store. It's cheap, 99 cents. And then you get crayons to go with it. You break the cr crayons apart and hot glue on them. Or if you want to do it overnight, which is normal glue, you put it at the top of the thing, and then you take just a hair dryer, and over probably the course of a half an hour, all the crayon will melt down. And if you want to make it personalized and do like a happy birthday, you can tape happy birthday on it, and then once it's all dry, take the tape off, and then it'll be say happy birthday on it. Okay. So that's kind of like the more creative side. Wow. Yeah, so it sounds good. The second one is a do-it-yourself phone case. You can go on Shutterfly or Walgreens, and okay. you can pick any picture you want for your friends, put them all together, kind of shape it online, and then what comes out as it is a nice phone case that basically you're the friendship phone case. And I now, would love to get that I as I know, good. right? And now you could get all those photos from your phone gallery, right? Yes. Well, you can easy. You can probably you can do over mobile phone, too. At Walgreens has a mobile app website that you can easily do that, so it's sort of fly. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then another, a very simple one, if you're a last minute kind of one, is you can buy cookie pops at the, cookie pops at the store and get like ribbon to go with it, tie it around and put it up, and it's kind of like a little rose bouquet, but except for it's TikTok. Yeah, wow. no, that looks great. Mm-hmm, and fun. Mm -hmm. And then finally, my personal favorite, I found this one off of Pinterest. What you do is you put little surprises in balloons, yeah. And then you have whoever's birthday it is, and Brandon, it was your birthday, it and was. you can pop one too. Oh, thank is you. Is what you do is yeah. you pop the balloon, yeah. <laughs> you pop the balloon, and there's something inside of it for the surprise. There's something inside the balloon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little surprise gift. Like remember at the dollar store, you had those little surprise bags. Yeah. yeah. Separate. It's much more simpler than that. Wow. So today, what you can do is take one of the cookie pops. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready, Brandon? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I love popping balloons. Hopefully. And Whoa. oh, cash money! Cash money! Two dollars! Oh, that's amazing! And I put confetti in there to kind of make it more a little decorative. Oh, yeah! <laughs> All the confetti's on the floor. Oh, that's so cute! Okay, my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Different. You guys, I did a little squeamish. This one is this one okay to yeah. pop? Yeah. Pop that balloon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got this. There we yeah. go. Yeah! Yeah! Oh wow! Oh my gosh, I got money too! That's Thank amazing. You. Yeah. We're rich. So yep. they 
Yeah, we are. Yeah. And it's fun because we have fun time with like little kids too, so you guys can go crazy with them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And well, that's all I have for you guys. Well, thanks, Nora. Those ideas look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, and we are so happy we were able to give you a little gift, Brandon, since your <laughs> birthday was just this past Sunday. Oh, yes, it was. Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't even feel like 10 years. And I have to say, being around you guys <laughs> and talking about all these amazing ideas really makes my birthday and talking to you guys special. Yeah. And now, speaking about the things I love, after this commercial, we're going to give you updates on, on campus events. So don't go away. Thanks, Brandon. Today we're going to be taking a look at some upcoming campus events. Do you guys need help with LinkedIn? Workshops are March 28th, March 4th, March 11th, or excuse me, April 11th, and April 25th in Old Main 115 from 2 to 3 p.m. Get your professional picture taken in the photo booth or enter for a chance to win some Kinesis gear. That's right, Bridget. And also, get your vogue on with Yoga with Madonna. As, as actually, it's going to take place on Wednesdays in Grub Fireside Lounge from 7 to 8 p.m. Yoga mats are provided, so just bring your student ID. Mm -hmm. Join the Commuter Student Association for roller skating Saturday, March 29th. From 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., Penfold Commons will be transformed into a temporary roller rink. Hope to see you guys there. That's all we have for today, but now we're going to take some time to taste the cake. Yes. So, um, it's going to be amazing. We, as you guys know, we were not on air for the past two weeks because we had the Kanisha snow day and then we were on break. So Mary couldn't bring in the cake, but no worries. We have this one. It's just a little cake and it says happy birthday. So can we have all of our birthday friends come out and we'll sing yeah, you guys. Here. Can you guys my balloon? That's awesome. Ready? We have a balloon. Okay, guys. <laughs> Who wants to lead us in happy birthday? Emma, I, I think Emma, you can do you it. All right, let's go, guys. One birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Griffin TV. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday to you. Yay! Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks everyone for the birthday wishes today. Be sure to check us out on griffintv.net. We air a new show on our channel yeah. four on channel four every Wednesday at 7 p.m. From all of us here at Channel 4 News, have a great week, Canisius.